All right, so the Kiriko jacket is complete, and when I have it together with the petticoat on the dress form, I think it looks okay, but it's not exactly what I envisioned. So I think I'm going to go ahead and take this project in a little bit of a different direction. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sit down and explain what I'm thinking of doing. Okay. Opus Alani and Costume Literate are hosting a Wacky Fabric collaboration for the month of April. Um, there's also another thing where you can go ahead and make a wacky historical item. So for my costume, I decided to go for like a 1780s meets 1980s mashup. Anyway, I've had this acid wash denim in my stash for a very long time and I've always wanted to make like a 1980s inspired garment for it and um, this wacky fabric challenge is perfect. I love the idea of um, 1980s punk battle jackets and vests. Um, one of my favorite things with, with, uh, one of my favorite things with costuming is the decoration. I love decorating, um, using new things like how I have in the past with like rhinestones and that sort of thing. And I think with, um, going ahead and doing a 1980s um, battle jacket, I can go ahead and use studs. There's also a punk inspired patch that's going to go on the back of it. This denim petticoat, it's probably going to turn into something else. I think it can go ahead and do much better things. So next time I will see you is when I receive the metal studs and I can go ahead and get decorating on the jacket. everything came in. I have spike studs and a back patch. Um, first for the studs, I will go ahead and just show you what I have here. So I have a larger spike and a smaller spike and then I will be using this all to poke holes into the jacket and these studs have to be uh, screwed in the screw. And I have a little tiny pocket screwdriver that I'll be using for that. What I figured is that it would be so much easier to just go ahead and have a image printed on a tank top than to figure out and buy all the supplies to make a stencil and then make this stencil on like a piece of canvas. So this is the back patch. I will go ahead and work on this later. I'm going to start with the studs because I know that's going to take quite a long time. I have my jacket here. Um, for the studs, I'm going to go ahead and focus them on the shoulder and arm area. Um, I'm thinking after I figure out the hook and eye situation for the front of the jacket, I might add some more studs to it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get started now. The process to put the studs into the jacket is so easy. All you do is poke a hole through your piece of clothing, take one end of the screw, put it through the hole, and then take your stud and then screw it onto the screw. And then um, I found a tiny screwdriver. <laughs> it is so cute, um, but it was the perfect thing to use to screw on all the screws. I mean, you could try to do it without it, but I really wanted to make sure that the screws were really secure into the studs. So anyway, um, and then I just ended up doing that a lot more times. I don't know how many, um, but anyway, just had fun. We rewatched. I think I was on season six of RuPaul's Drag Race when I was doing this. I take a lot of inspiration for movies for my costumes, so I'll just uh, recommend a few good punk movies. 
on um, no particular order. Um, I watched um, SLC Punk, Rubo Man, and Sid and Nancy. I um, totally recommend those if you haven't seen them already. Hey there. So I actually took a week or so off from this project. Um, but uh, during the initial filming of putting on all the studs on the jacket, I actually finished it that day. So this is kind of what it looks like. Um, it did add just a little bit of weight to the jacket, but it hasn't distorted the fit of it at all. So it fits just fine still. But um, yeah. I think that turned out pretty good. Um, I then added a little placket inside. I think maybe that's what it's called, but I added a little piece of fabric inside one of the sides of the front of the jacket and um, ended up adding hooks and eyes, alternating down both sides of the front. So that's how I went about uh, closing the jacket. Now that that is all done, um, I'm going to go ahead and work on the back of the jacket. Like I said in previous footage, that I was going to go ahead and use this shirt that I went ahead and had a battle patch created for it, and it turned out really good. So. I think all I'm going to do is a very simple, just cut out the patch and apply it with safety pins that I have here. I think later on I will take the back patch off and um, I'll end up making a proper patch. Maybe have like um, felt backing to it, something, um, just to keep it. Um, more stable and so it can last a lot longer and then also um, have the patch so that I can take it off of one jacket and put it on a vest or something later on. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get started cutting this out and applying it to the back of the jacket. I wanted to mention when making the design for the punk band patch for this jacket, um, I didn't realize that for some reason that Redbubble would have an option to have a black tank top. And so I should have just made a uh, transparent PNG. But anyway, at least um, having a black background um, allowed me to make stickers for a red bubble at the same time as producing the patch for the jacket, but you know, it is what it is. this up. If you're liking this video, feel free to go ahead and press the like button. Hey there, so I'm right in the middle of editing this video um, and I just wanted to re-record the part that I was going to say next, which was um, all the little things like liking, commenting, and subscribing on my videos help me and my channel keep going and growing, and I mean that very genuinely. Um, and also wanted to open that idea up to the whole community. Um, so whether you're subscribed or not to my channel, um, just wanted to put it out there that you're probably watching a whole lot of other costumers on YouTube. So please also like, comment, and subscribe on their videos as well. Um, it's a lot of hard work to put together these videos and make um, a garment along with it. So, um, 
please give them a little love as well. Um, especially newer costumers on YouTube. Um, so anyway, just wanted to put that out there. I'll go ahead and continue rolling the rest of the footage for this video. Thank you. Um, next time you'll see me is during the costume reveal. So uh, I hope you enjoy. This video on my 1780s meets 1980s punk Carico jacket. Feel free to watch a couple more videos.